All right, welcome back guys to episode two of the Aim Down Sight Only Challenge, or whatever I end up titling this. Uh, last game we actually managed that 2KD really easily. That was the initial challenge, was just get a 2KD in uh, Team Deathmatch by aiming down sight 100% of the time. And uh, yeah, we actually went like 16 and 5 or something like that. So I decided to ramp it up quite a bit, and we're actually going to go for the 5KD Aim Down Sight Only Challenge. And I used the LSAT last game, so I'm going to try the Maverick out for this game. I think it'll uh, it'll suit me a little bit better on this smaller map. I want to stick to the edge of this map, and big reason for that is I don't want to have to do like a 360 degree spin uh, trying to uh, challenge somebody. So I am having a look up top. Oh, I don't like the recoil on this. Okay, so reloading. Obviously, I come out of aim can't come out of aiming down sight when I reload. And obviously also when I call in streaks, which I don't think I called in any streaks last game, and I'm pretty sure I earned them. There's a nice little head glitch. I didn't even know this was here, and I have had a really good look at this map. Okay, we'll get a reload in because he's coming for me. So what I'm doing here is... Uh, okay, well, he's not coming anymore because he's dead, but I just want to explain this. The corner is right here. I like to aim a little bit past the corner, because when they come around the corner, by the time you react and start shooting, <clears throat> they'll be right where you're shooting, rather than, um, we'll place this down, they'll be right where you're shooting, rather than you having to suddenly adjust, oh, oh, where are you, I just saw your dot, where is he, Enemy satcom spotted. I can't see him, is he laying up here, I'm nervous, there was a dot, and he was above me. Ah! I, was he there? I, I don't know. I know he was there at one point. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, this guy just keeps trying to challenge me. It does not work out so well for him. Kill that damn dog. Yeah, like I said before, or in the last game... I'm really anticipating uh, some hate messages for me camping and this, and... Hey, I'd get a little bit frustrated at this, in a way. Luckily we have Sitrep on, or else that sentry gun definitely would have ended up getting a kill on us. Uh, let's drop this one here. <coughs> I apologize, guys, for that. I might cough a few times in this. My throat's still not 100% recovered. And I'm on to like my seventh video of the day, so little rough voice. <coughs> Heard a guy come through here. <coughs> oh, bad timing for that. Sorry, guys. <coughs> and I'm out of water. <sighs> okay, so I do see a dot up here. Yeah, careful. Enemy care package incoming. No, I can't get inside. <laughs> Nothing I could have done there. Wow. I thought I would have had time there to get out of there. And that was the Ripper, too. That's surprising. <coughs> Sorry I'm not talking much, guys. I gotta get a drink of water after this game. My uh, throat is really hurting right now. I actually recommend trying this out if you haven't tried it out before. Try just going ADS only. It's uh, kind of interesting. 
really forces you to pay attention to where your where your gun is aiming and like where you're looking because I can't turn quickly. I'm trying to get inside this building or around the corner but I was running into stuff from behind me. Thank you, teammate. He definitely would have killed me there, I think. Okay, somebody just got sniped there, so... Not gonna challenge that now. I'm gonna push the left side, because it seems like we kind of lost the left side. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, so that... It was fairly good. That was a good game. We didn't quite complete the challenge, though. Uh, we were going for 5KD. We only got a 4. So it was a little bit unfortunate, but I, I'm pretty happy with that game and how it turned out. I uh, learned a few little things there, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, and I will talk to you guys next time.